All right, let's face it. When is the last time you bought something without reading the reviews first? No, really ask yourself, when is the last time you actually bought a product without reading the reviews first? I don't remember either, but what I do know is reviews play a crucial part in the customer buying behavior funnel and ultimately have a lot of purpose in our brands. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Ecom Freedom YouTube channel. My name is Mikay Rasmussen. I'm one of the mentors in the Ecom Freedom Shopify group. And today we are going over how to install reviews on your Shopify store and why reviews are important. So, you know, what is the likelihood I buy this product that has 33 reviews, and although they're good, you know, comparing it to this product that has 53,000 reviews, we're comparing night and day. And just going off of that, again, this is a, uh, you know, what started out to be an e-commerce brand. They're selling this, you know, grain-free cereal. We're looking at their website that has 38,000 reviews. If they didn't have any reviews, I don't know that I would have the conviction that I would want to try this cereal. Ultimately, good products speak for themselves. And which leads me to my next point. If you haven't already, check out our Econ Freedom Trust Pilot. We have a 4.7 rating. These are all real student reviews. You can read through them and get our feedback from students that are in the course in the trenches every day. So look, reviews are more than just this gold star that is set next to your product that ultimately you get when people are happy, right? It actually has a lot of other purposes. Some of those include driving sales, building trust on your website, contributing to SEO purposes, and even aiding in customer decision-making. Don't worry, we're gonna jump into that. But first, how do we get these reviews on our website? First things first, open your Shopify store. Now, if you don't have a Shopify store, check out our resource pack in the description below and get started. Go ahead and create your store. Once you're logged into your online store, go ahead and click under apps and then click apps and sales channels. It's gonna bring you to a page like this and then we can just search uh, you know, reviews. So there's a variety of review apps you can choose from. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my favorite and why they're my favorite, but ultimately they all somewhat do the same thing. Um, some have added features over others, Stamped, Luke's, Yachtpo, Judge.me. But one app that I continuously go back to is Alley Reviews. It's super simple, just download Alley Reviews. This is a free trial for the Alley Reviews app. And like I said, if you wanna use the other one, I think that one's also uh, free for a certain amount of time. So, you know, a lot of the review apps do basically the same thing. But the reason I like Alley Reviews so much is because you can import reviews from other sources. So one question I get often is, McKay, I just launched my product. I don't have any reviews. What am I supposed to do? How do I get reviews on my website? Well, the reality is there's a few things we can do here. You can A, get friends and family to buy your product and give you a good review, or I guess an honest review on your website. B, you can import reviews from sites like Aliexpress uh, and then it looks like this one also has Amazon bulk import CSV file so Alley Reviews has a ton of different options so once you've downloaded this app and you've decided whether you're going to ask friends and family for reviews or plan on sourcing reviews the next step is how do I actually get these onto my website right so first things first you're gonna go back to online store all right now once we are in here you're just gonna go to your catalog page catalog is gonna load and ideally your products are gonna show up here because you've already had your products created go ahead and click one of your products Perfect. Now from here, you're gonna go on the left side and you're gonna scroll all the way down to add block. We're just gonna type in review. And then from here, you'll see all the apps or ideally just one of the apps you installed for importing reviews or putting reviews onto your website. So we can click both of these just so we can see how they work. Um, if I was going to use the Shopify one, click product reviews. It's gonna take a minute, load here, and then, yep, it insert this customer reviews box where you know customers will then be able to go and type out their reviews. Again, if I click add block, type in review again, just to see what it would look like on another, you know, different widget, different app. And you see Alex, uh, Alley Reviews, I, I just like this one because it has a lot of custom uh, customability and also you can, once you've imported the reviews, you can actually change them around and, uh, you know, tweak them depending on how, what you want them to say, what you want them to show. Um, so I thought that was a cool thing about Alley, Alley Reviews. And then again, if you wanted to add some type of star rating, which I absolutely think you should, uh, you would just go back here and every app should have some type of star rating thing. Um, we will just use the Shopify one for now. It's gonna insert it just as you noticed at the bottom of your page. It's super easy to bring that up. You're just gonna wanna drag this little dot here and bring it all the way up, probably below, let's see. Let's scroll back up and take a look. Yeah, I think that looks nice. Uh, obviously, we haven't built out this page. This is just a you know test store. But ultimately, this is how you're going to get those product review stars and product carousel on the bottom. I think it's important to show you know the star rating. Be able to click on that star rating, and it immediately drops it down to the reviews, just like Magic Spoon has here. Again, they have 38,000 reviews. You can click it, and it instantly brings you to customer reviews, so you can read through and see what customers are saying about it. So it really is as easy as that. Go ahead and click save, and you should now have reviews on your store so if we just go ahead and exit out here again this is a test store but we can go ahead and click view and just see what shows up so we'll go to catalog we'll go to t-shirt 
and we can see the star rating. Now, I don't have any reviews now, um, but I could go ahead and write one and then it would show up for the star rating and here as well. And then for some apps like Alley Reviews, you might have to go into, you know, under apps uh, and then click uh, Alley Reviews. And essentially from here, you can customize the look and feel of the review app and how it looks on your website. Ultimately, reviews only take a few minutes to add and have such a massive impact on your business. On this article I found from Big Commerce, it says on a study, on average, products are 270% more likely to sell with as few as five reviews. That means if you just took, you know, five minutes out of your day and added five reviews to your website, you're already up 270% over competitors that don't have any reviews. If you got any value in this video, definitely give me a like, thumbs up, and comment, and I will see you in the next video.